Hi, my name is Tom. Today I'll be working with Easy Touch HMI, and what I will be showing you in this project is how to use the HMI to make edits to your recipe and save them. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. Now I'm going to go through the video and show you how it's done. What I have here is several temperature controllers that control the temperature of a process on a machine. And these six red buttons each represent a default setting for the PID loop in each individual controller. Now what I'd like to be able to do is be able to make edits to these recipes from the HMI itself instead of having to pull out the computer, make the edits to the program, and then download the project into the HMI. So the first thing I need to do is I need to come up here and grab a button. And this button I'm going to call Recipe. Since I'm using an Automation Direct TLC, I am going to give it a internal coil address, which I'm going to use C676. Since this address is not used anywhere else in my program other than for this button here, it's not used in the PLC, nowhere else in the HMI except for here. So I'm going to click on OK. And first I want to give it some attributes. First I want to call it load. Change the character size. Change the background color along with the text. Change the actuator type from a toggle to a timed on. Give it a value of 100, so it'll be approximately 10 seconds. I want to change the off text to default. PID. And I'll also change the character size on these and the background colors. And when the button is pressed, so when it's on, I also want it to blink. Now that all looks good, so I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to place the button here on the screen and try to get as close to size as the other buttons as possible. So the next thing I need to do is I need to come up here to the top where it says Setup. And then click on that and scroll down to the Panel Attributes here. And click on it. And that opens up the Panel Attributes window. Now in the General tab here that I'm in right now, I come down where it says On Panel Recipe Edit Tag. Now if I click on here and click the drop down box, and if I scroll through and I look for the word recipe, that's right there, and click on it, places my recipe tag right there. So I'm going to click on OK. And right now I have everything that I need because my recipes are already configured. So I'm going to click on OK here. And then all I need to do is download my project. OK, now that I have my project downloaded to my screen, I need to explain how this actually works. Now first what I'd like to do is call your attention to the recipe low default button down at the bottom right hand corner here. When I press it, it will flash for approximately 10 seconds. I used a timed on function when I made the button instead of a toggle or a momentary on. So this will give me the time to go to another screen and select a default recipe. Right now I have the default recipe settings on the same screen, but on other projects I have them on each individual PID screen. Now when this button is flashing, I am able to select a zone to edit the recipe. Right now I can press these buttons here and nothing happens. But when I press the low default button here, 
I can press the button and up comes the edit recipe screen. Now in the edit recipe screen I can either fine tune the loop or I can edit the recipe or exit. Today I'm going to select to edit the recipe and you can see I have my five tag names here and if I scroll down you'll see this bar right here scrolling down with it and I can also use the up arrow here the one that I'm gonna make the change to today is going to be the proportional so I can do that one of two ways I can either select the enter value here and press the button and that gives me the option of adding a value this way and then pressing enter or I can use the increment or de-increment buttons so when I press the increment button you'll see the value here change it will go up one and it turns red same thing with the de-increment so if I press it once it goes down back to 1384 but it turns black again but if I press it again it turns back to red so that means when it's red means that the value has been changed and it has not been written and it has not been saved so I'm going to enter a value here I'm going to put a 244 value here and as you can see I have 244 here and 1384 and 1384 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that value and it's going to write it to the PLC here as you can see it changed it and they're both black so I have 244 in each but I still have 1386 here under the recipe in order to save that I need to press the save button here and if you watch here the value has changed so my values are now changed in the recipe so if I press exit and then I come back over here and I press my zone 1 default recipe I wish that they would make the recipe button change states as you push it but as of right now that's the way that it is so I'm gonna come here to navigate I'm gonna to go to my PID loop for zone 1 you can see my proportional is still at 244 here now but I'm still at 138.6 so I need to load them changes because I do not want them to load automatically until I authorize the load as you can see the button will stay on for approximately 10 seconds again as you can see my value has changed and my PID loop is at its default settings well that's it for this video so if you like the video or you learned something let me know leave a comment otherwise I'll see you next video